The good news, this is going to be some review in this lecture here. This is the, well, what do you think actually? I don't have it labeled. That's good. Where's anterior and posterior in this baby head? Okay, I come up here. Right there is anterior and there's posterior. Therefore, this over here is the posterior pituitary because it's in the back. Sorry, the arrow sucks. So you remember from the last video, neural hormones are made in the neural cell body in the hypothalamus, transported down and secreted into the circulation of the body to travel throughout the bloodstream. The two hormones that um, do this are oxytocin and vasopressin. Vasopressin is ADH, antidiuretic hormone. We will see this more. What do you think, antidiuretic hormone? Kidneys, when we talk about the urinary system, we'll come back to antidiuretic hormone. That's its primary, oh, well, right there, silly me. Um, oxytocin, we won't come back to besides pretty much this week. So these are the two neurohormones. They are what? Look at them. These are peptide hormones. So you already know what action they have on their target tissues. They're going to bind to G-protein coupled receptors because they can't enter through the cell. They're pretty small peptides, the nine peptides each, and they're actually very similar, and their evolution is super cool. Anyways, do you want to know more about them? I'd love to talk about them. So the only thing really new here is you see what they look like, and then you see their targets. So the target organs are, for oxytocin, it's primarily a female hormone, um, not completely true, of course, um, but that's what's typically talked about. So it acts on the uterus to cause contractions during childbirth. You actually heard about this in the fall of it in terms of positive feedback with that. Same thing with milk letdown. It was gonna act on the smooth muscles in these two target organs to cause contraction. It also, just to give males some information here, it's gonna um, be involved in sperm ejection during ejaculation. It's also plays some role in the prostate. So it does have roles in males as well. ADH, antidiuretic hormone, is going to act on the kidneys to help retain water. So antidiuretic means retaining water. And we'll come back to this at the end of the semester. All right, let's do a quick learning check with the posterior pituitary.